history. He has been destroying everyone left and right. And he has even trained the Poopy Chew. The Poopy Chew's back. Poopy Chew's legs have never been stronger than they are here tonight. The lunatic brought himself back up. He's got the keeper. He's got Poopy Chew. Tips, and it's all because of Mike Bradley, and he says he's gonna kick his ass. I'm sure he's got other intentions with that candlestick, too. Lunatic is not here to mess around or play around, he's here to fight. And Poopy Chew is gonna watch from the bottom of the mat. Total urination everywhere on Mike Bradley's gear, on top of it all. First of all, Listen to a sermon first. And written and spoken. You, sir, are an idiot. What's wrong with that? I see your little funny little post. I see your little funny little me rant. This idiot is the Crescent City Saint. He thinks he's a French pastry. He so wants to put butter on it. Tonight, Crescent City Saint, Shine Town Sensation. You idiot. Saint Sensation. Idiot. Very ugly. And we know what you are. You're a nurse, right? I'm sorry, I was a little confused. They're so flaky. Uh, so now that we uh, establish that, that it's Crescent City, not Croissant City, I only have one question. So, did you bring croissants or not? Because I have a butter in the back of my own. I do love the croissants. We serve those here? I brought a little jelly, too. Anybody else like croissants? about ready to rip the croissant right out of Lunatic's head. Grudge match two months in the making is about ready to explode right here. We've got a Christmas tree at ringside. Poopy Chew is watching. Very closely. The keeper keeping Poopy Chew upright. Poopy Chew's been doing some leg presses lately. There's the bell. Here we go. Heavyweight showdown. The grudge match. And the voices are loud. And they're here. This is C Red's newest henchman, the newest hired henchman, 6'5, 300 plus pounds of Mike Bradley. does Mike Bradley have? But this is the obstacle that has been put in the way of the lunatic. And the lunatic must conquer it if he ever expects to face Mark King Rocket ever again. Bradley outpowers the lunatic and wipes him out immediately just by a basic shove down into the mat. The lunatic's back already in significant pain and anger. Lots of chances here. If if Bradley can beat Lunatic, Bradley will obviously get a title shot against the winner of tonight's main event between Gator and Rocket somewhere down the line. 
So this match is exceptionally important for both combatants who both are in the thick of the heavyweight division for another future title shot. Bradley swings, misses, Lunatic fires away. And he said he was going to kick his ass. We'll see about that. This is a big man with a lot of size and mass. Lunatic with a big clothesline in the corner. Bradley's been rocked for a moment. But he's still standing. And as long as he's standing, he is very, very threatening. Because most of his offense is delivered from a standing position. Lunatic trying to clobber the man, but he won't go down yet. Lunatic with Bradley on the ropes. And that upward thrusting shot might have done some damage to the neck. See, Red has said that we've only seen about 10% of what Mike Bradley can do in this ring. That is a scary stat. And if Mike Bradley does have so much more to offer, well, I'm sure that we have a lot yet to see from this young man inside of this ring. That is a scary stat. And the opportunities for Mike Bradley will continue to grow in time. That's the same spike slam that wiped out Marche Rocket in the past. This match could already be over. Bradley might have just ended the lunatic right there. See Red watching as Bradley stomps repeatedly all over the lunatic. Falling body. If Lunatic had his way, he would bash this man, Mike Bradley, six Christmases into the future without croissants, without butter, without jelly. Lunatic is an erratic, out of control. But C Red believes that he can control and manipulate him as he's trying to do right here, choking him along that middle rope. Where's the keeper? Come on, keeper, get involved. Help out your man. Lunatic has had a lot of showdowns in a CSW ring as of late. But what he accomplished at the massive showdown was incredible. He, de he defeated two heavyweights in one night. He beat Dirty Doc Scurlock. And on top of that, he put away Ann Gager, the number one contender. Sure, he did that thanks to Marche Rocket, but he still defeated the number one contender. Lunatic should be challenging for the CSW Southland Heavyweight Championship too. There's a pretty good chance Lunatic would have been the CSW Southland champion if it wasn't for Mike Bradley in the first place. And Bradley again repeatedly continues to attack with his head and his feet. This young man has excellent body control, balance, and for the most part, C Red has this man thoroughly and mentally ready to do the damage. 300 pound splash. That could, that could cage in the entire rib cage. That could collapse a rib cage. Lunatic in significant pain, and he might have broken ribs after that. And Mike Bradley trying to scare the daylights out of the poopy chew, as well as the keeper. Lunatic trying to swing. His right fist repeatedly into Mike Bradley's abdomen. Now his head running out of steam. He got caught. Oh no! Revolutionary 
slam, and Bradley has got Lunatic down for the count. But Lunatic got the left shoulder up. Needs to be mentioned, Lunatic's left shoulder is still heavily taped, but it has not stopped him from winning matches. He has accumulated a tremendous winning streak over the past several months, especially in singles competition and in multi-man matches as well. And see Red again getting cheap shots in as Mike Bradley has two count one focused in a totally different direction. See Red apparently gonna start praying and bowing down and doing sermons instead. This guy's a fraud. The keeper has that kendo stick, and now he's really threatening C Red. Do it again and see what happens. There goes the spirit. There goes the will. There go 
host the heart of the lunatic. And the fans are sensing. How did C rate that the candlestick? The heck is going on here? Oh, this is all getting from bad to worse. The news around here, the Christmas bash, it's turning into a, a very poor, despicable holiday after all. Kirby Chu cheering on the lunatic in the corner. It's smiling from ear to ear and it stinks. Missed twice. Wow! Oh, he knocked him silly. I've never seen Bradley upside down like that before. Was that a spear? Never wrestle again. Poop 
on the line.